Tis the application season. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about applying and getting accepted into medical school. Now, I applied to almost 50 medical schools, so I think I have a little bit of experience in this field. A great tip to go by before you fill out your application is having your resume. Your resume basically has all your education information, all your career information. It should have volunteer experience and other things that you can put on your application. So the application process itself, it consists of three parts. The first part is the primary application. This application contains information about yourself and your family. It also contains information about the colleges and high schools you've attended and the classes that you took during high school and college. It also contains your GPA, both your cumulative and your science, your MCAT scores. It contains your personal statement and the essays that that specific primary application is asking for. It also contains your letters of recommendation. If your school has a pre-health committee, they ask for that letter. They ask for a science professor's letter, and they ask for one non-academic person to write a letter for you. If you don't have a pre-health committee, which my college at the time did not have a pre-health committee, they usually accept two letters of recommendation from two different science professors. They also ask for your transcript, your academic and your non-academic recognitions, your leadership experience, your research experience, your healthcare experience, your volunteer experience, your leisure activities, and your employment. This is a good thing to know in college so that while you're in college, you can build experiences that you can put in your application. The second part of the application process is secondary applications. You're going to have to do some research if the school will send it to you or if you have to complete it along with your primary application. The secondary application can be the filter for medical schools to choose who they offer an interview to. The secondary application sometimes asks the same things as the primary application, but with more essays to complete. The final step in the application process is the interview. I'd like to share my advice about applying to medical school. First of all, make sure you meet the prerequisites of that specific medical school. For example, some schools require that you take statistics. Apply early. I can't stress that enough. If you really want to get into medical school and you know that your numbers aren't the best numbers out there or you lack in an area of experience, then apply early. Research medical school statistics such as previous classes MCAT scores and GPA. If you plan to apply out of state, make sure you check to see if that school even accepts applicants that are non-residents. Make sure to meet the deadlines ahead of time. There's usually a different deadline for transcripts and then a separate deadline for the letters of recommendation and a separate deadline for the applications. Also, another tip is to follow up with the school on the status of your required documents. If you know that medicine is something that you really want to do, research medical schools that have programs that accept students as early as high school. I know several people that got accepted into medical school programs during high school and also as early as their junior year of college. And lastly, this is just a heads up, the waiting game is not going to be pleasant. Trust me, it drove me <laughs> crazy, but it will hopefully be worth it for you. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Make sure to leave a comment below if you have anything else you'd like to ask me. Follow me on social media at a dash of mo and hit that subscribe button for future videos.